Okay, hi and welcome to this uh, update from the Lodge Farms. We haven't been updating for quite a while and that's because we had a summer uh, holiday and then uh, work style was very really hectic. But uh, also because we started using this. This is a new uh, 3D printer. This is the first one that we bought that's uh, store bought and, and you know, out of the box printing. It's the uh, XYC printing Da Vinci. If you pan down here, you can see it has two extrusion heads. We made this uh, table for it to sit on to uh, minimize the uh, vibration and also to hang out in it. This is a cheap uh, printer and it is okay, but the big thing about it is that it uses these, uh, these cartridges. Uh, with uh, 120 meters in them, uh, and it simply they, they cost too much. But um, that's not quite fast because we're using PLA balls from one uh, kilo spools, so that's fine. You need to hack them using uh, this chip and Arduino or something, but it's fine. Uh, there's guys on the internet to show. Um, we've been using it to print a lot of things. These are some of the, the projects we've been These are uh, some small models. I've printed, uh, it's for using in board games. I've printed uh, the silence for me. Uh, Kenneth has printed uh, this uh, model, it's called Model of Alex, I think. Uh, and this is a small soldier boy. And he doesn't have any facial features, but I like it. We also printed this uh, guy. This is supposed to be a shaman or something, and he ha uh, should have a staff over here. But it's printed without raft and without support, so it didn't really make it true. But still, it's really a nice print for without any rafting. Then this this is uh, the bottom half of a chicken. Should be like that, and it ended uh, mid print. But it gives me an opportunity to show the honeycomb pattern that I printed. It's actually quite uh, sturdy, strong. This is in uh, ABS and this is too. Then there's this little handy phone stand uh, where you're supposed to be able to, to move it around. It's not quite done yet. A little uh, East Island head. Then there's this. This is uh, a test of how good the uh, printer is. You can see a lot of details on this. I really like this. It's a little too large to be a game piece, but I really like it. This is a golden cup that came with the printer. It's a uh, it's memory card. It's kind of nice, but what are you going to use it for? And we've been testing, we've been trying to make a board game. And these are some test pieces for that. I think this is uh, an Ingress logo, but uh, the rest are test pieces. This one as well. Then we try to. Uh, Print some uh, boxes. This is a really nice box. So, I'll try to uh, print a phone cover, and it's good, but it's a little too small, so the phone can't get in. <laughs> therefore, it's useless. These are some prints that didn't go too well. This side is uh, well, it's printed, but on the other side, you can see that the order makes it look like crappy. This is a phone stand. Should be. Two platform stand like this, but uh, it hasn't worked out. However, these phone stands work. The phone stand for my Nexus 6. You see, it's a rather large phone. But we also like these stands. They're very simple, uh, but very strong, very good. And you can both stand up things in them and you have them placed down. So that's fine. Of a more practical nature, we printed these. These are just uh, some conic shaped uh, spaces or something, and we use them to hang out our filament on the rack. That's what we've been, uh, been doing this past month, and uh, we continue to print uh, things, whatever we like. There will probably be a lot of phone gadgets and so on. If you got any ideas, uh, please leave us a comment, and uh, we'll see what. Uh, we can come up with. Thank you.